Past reading on Wednesday of the second week of Easter, 10th of April, 2024. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and, filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what they would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, bowed without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let your response be. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Response The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol His name. I sought the Lord and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Response The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to Him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, He saved him. Response the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Response The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to St. John. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. Whoever believes in Him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light, and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection in today's reading First, God loves you and the world. From the beginning, God begins with love. That's simple and clearly stated. As I shared earlier, He created the world as an act of love and even when things got dark, He still chose out of love to make promises with man. Since love is not a feeling, it's an action, the greatest demonstration of God's love was an offering. It's something He gave away, His only Son. In this passage translation of this passage, it says, this is how much God loved the world. He gave His Son, His one and only Son. God shows His love through an action of loving sacrifice. Second, through Jesus, He offers salvation from sin and condemnation. In giving His Son away out of love, God offers salvation from sin and condemnation. This mission of God and sacrifice is serving a purpose. The purpose is to save people from death. Later on, the passage it says that some do not believe in the name of the only Son of God which is in turn has led to condemnation. For generations, darkness has loomed over the world, and people have chosen to worship their own gods, themselves, and observe the law. This has led to their condemnation and death. Therefore, Jesus was sent to reveal who God really is, his glory and His goodness, so that people may believe in Him. That brings us to the last point of this passage. We can believe in Him and have eternal life and choose light over darkness. If you've chosen to believe in Him and received His offer of salvation, you will experience eternal life. Many of you, perhaps all of you, have been told that eternal life means going to heaven when you die.
God's offer of salvation through Jesus does not just save us from this world, but saves us for this world. God bless.